Welcome back to another behind the scenes vlog where I show you how I make my magical videos. But first, the magic. Three, two, one. Magic. Wasn't that a fantastic video? I actually have no idea. Um, I haven't made it yet. Let's get started. The idea for this video came from magicians who would vanish on stage and then instantly appear in the back of the theater, but they would be kind of comically out of breath, like, because <sighs> you knew they had run around the whole theater to get to the back. So this is kind of a digital take on that, where it's clearly I'm using visual effects to banish myself, but then I'm adding a punchline of maybe I actually did it by climbing up the chimney. So it's a, it's a flipped version of that. I'm picturing the camera goes somewhere around here, uh, looking at the fireplace here, towel drops, I vanish, and then we look around, we pan over, and I'm crawling in the window here. I'm thinking the final video will be made up of two shots. The first one, we film me in the fireplace, I drop a towel and we cut there and then we reset. I have another towel hung up by string and I'm in the window. And we start that shot, I drop the towel again, pan over, I'm in the window. And so we invisibly seam together those two shots when the towel drops. Before I set up a camera, lights, or any of the gear, I'm going to collect all the materials and props that I think I'll need for this video. So I bought a couple types of invisible thread that could hold up the towel. Give those a try. And then I got a charcoal stick that I can crush up and rub over me to look like soot. I have two identical towels and I'm using two so that I can have one rigged up with string and one not. And that makes it easier to film the shots directly after one another. Two white t-shirts. One that is already really dirty that I can uh, mess up with the soot. The biggest thing to figure out is how I'm going to rig up this towel on string so that I can drop it from a distance. I'm thinking uh, two nails up in here and I'll tie the string to the towel, rig it up so that I can drop it from over by the window. So when I go into the fireplace for real, ugh. Oh, that's very small. Yeah, okay. So hold up a towel like this. So I'll grab it at these points. So if I'm gonna grab the towel like this, I need to put the nails pretty much right there. I thought I could use bent nails, but I'm gonna change to these little hooks. Um, fishing line should run clearly through. If you're living in your parents' house, don't go hammering nails and screwing things into the walls or the mantle. Ask for permission. Now comes the task of getting the fishing line rigged up through the towel, through the hooks, and over by the window so I can control it dropping. So wherever possible, I like to use things like string and tape and physical ways of making effects happen. So just by spending about 10 minutes rigging this up, I can now let go and have that towel drop and I won't have to mask anything out in the computer. So it's all done on set practical. If you're looking really close, you might be able to see the fishing line, but from back here where we're going to film, um, it'll take a really sharp eye and I don't think it'll ever show. The towel rig is set up and works, so now it's time to prep my costume, which is covering a white t-shirt in charcoal to look like soot. And I'm going to have a charcoal powder ready for when we're filming so I can rub it on my face and a little bit on my arms. No clue 
clue if this is gonna work. Oh yeah. That looks good enough. It's <laughs> convincing enough that there's dirt and soot on the shirt. It actually kind of looks like a smiley face or like a jack-o'-lantern <laughs> with a mouth there. Now that all my materials are prepped, I'm going to grab the camera, set that up, and I'm going to get a light because I think it's a little dark near the fireplace. So I'm just gonna boost up that spot compared to the window. I don't wanna blast the fireplace with direct light because that'll look like uh, headlights from a car. So most of the time I actually point the light at the wall opposite. And what that does is just bounce a bunch of soft light and kind of fill the room with a nice even lighting. You can see how it just fills the fireplace with a bit of even lighting there. So that when we pan over, it's not gonna be um, a big difference in the window light. The last thing I need to do before setting up the camera is to clean up all the junk that I left around, make it a nice clean set. And I actually have to move the rigged up towel out of the way for the first shot, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna carefully remove it and have it planned out. I'm gonna get it back into place while filming. Everything's looking good and everything is planned. I'm feeling confident. I can do it in one take. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself. Um, but yeah, ready to go. Let's film it. Okay. The key to making this effect work is to have the camera in the exact same position over the first and second shot so I can see them together. And the easiest way to ensure that is to have it on a tripod, but we'll completely loosen it off so that my wife can film and move the camera around but we always know when we're pointing at the fireplace that the camera's gonna be in the same spot. Drop, beat, he's gone. He's not over there. And then just like slowly pan over here. And I'll be coming in that window. Drop, he's gone. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, just like the, the pool. pool one. Three, two. I'm 99% certain this will work. It's one of those videos where it's um, all preparation and then one take and you can get it. I looked at the footage on the camera. The performance is really good. Um, with the practical towel, that's gonna work really well. There might be some shadow pops here and there, but I can just massage that in the computer. Overall, really happy. What, is this bone underneath the couch? I think it is. Where's your bone? So it's been a few days. I've had a chance to complete this video, get the edit done, and I think it looks really, really good. It would take a really trained eye and you'd probably have to frame through it one frame at a time to catch any mistakes, so that's always good. And I think the best way to talk about how it came together is to mention one thing that worked really well and one thing that did not work at all. The one thing that worked really, really well was locking the camera in place on the tripod and that was keeping it loosened off so my wife could move the camera around freely and you know pan over and look around, but it kept the camera locked in position. So that, that cut of the first shot to the second shot, that actually worked super well. Like I barely had to do anything to that cut at all. Um, it's pretty much just a straight cut and you just don't see the camera change at all. The one thing that didn't work at all was the 
the way the towel fell onto the floor. And I think what I should have done is plan out the position of the towel on the ground and that maybe would have meant you know laying the corners down nicely on the ground and marking them so that way the towel would have fell in the exact same position in both shots i didn't plan it at all if you look at the first shot with the second shot i had to um, completely track in some towel elements to blend those two shots so that was some unnecessary work that could have been remedied by some planning before we watch the final video one more time, I just wanna say thanks for checking this out. I'm going to be putting together these behind the scenes vlogs of my magical videos every week on Tuesdays. So if you like checking these out, please subscribe and I will see you next week. Let's watch the video. Three, two, one. Magic.